Hey everyone, Warwick's here. So we're back with the vault video. The first vault of season four, if you're gonna do a quick video on this, I haven't even changed that on my work clothes yet, although I love this purple, sh this kind of great purple shirt look on me, so not upset if I'm wearing this a little bit longer because, uh, damn it, I look good in it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch on all the characters that had vaults there. If you hear my Discord going off in the background, it's because I'm also dealing with some stuff from my guild, so apologies for that if you hear it. Um, but basically, we're going to touch on all of this. I'm starting with the Death Knight because uh, he did do the time walking stuff last night. So he technically has heroic vaults. So see, trying to make vault make the appearance. I'm on holy for now just because I was messing around with some things with uh, helping out a, a fellow guildie of mine. Uh, messing around with some talent pools and, and builds and rotation things to kind of help that person out. Uh, but I mainly to play Frosty K. Uh, I tanked time walking for a friend of mine that is joining my raid team so go from there but we get no good traditionalist pauldrons or we get a fireproof drape at 489 i mean but these are 489 these are veteran pieces uh not going to be a big one of course i already have a good cloak so obviously we take the the shoulders and uh go from there i'm probably not going to play a lot of dk this this patch um it just so happens to be a character that i have tank set up on um one of the things that i plan on doing next expansion is i'm going to have one of every armor type and those are the beauty of the four characters that I play. Um, so I'm set on probably set on Monk for Leather, and I'm probably going to be playing Warlock for Cloth. And then Male, I'm either between Hunter and Evoker. And then Plate, I'm between Death Knight and Warrior. Um, and uh, Warrior, I'll be actually leveling a new Earthen Warrior because uh, it just feels like it's going to be a good fit. So not a bad start here. Just a little like 22 item level upgrade on the Death Knight. I'll go grab. I set myself a pattern later. Um, now, I did bring my Warlock over, um, brought it over from Ice Ground. This is the Cloth character that I've been playing. Mostly focused on Demonology, but I've been playing a little bit of uh, trying out some Destro and Affliction as well. Uh, Affliction, I think, is a spec that has a lot of potential. It just has some really poor quality of life, in my opinion, right now, that hasn't been changed yet, particularly around Tile Uh The ability there that applies a lot of your agonies, like, it's... Sounds pretty clear that uh, Blizzard is going to want us to uh, go around and uh, like cast agonies. So, sorry, I just gotta get. I forgot when I set everything up, it changes everything over. So I'm in Demonology spec with Demonology loot spec. It doesn't really matter for Warlock. Um, and really, at this point, this character is probably gonna take almost anything. Um, probably grab this 509 uh, Haste Master Sword. I do have a dagger that's pretty good, um, but a 20 item level upgrade on that. But I can also grab, uh, well, robes. I mean, I could guess I could grab those. Uh, the neck piece would be a massive upgrade, actually, with Leech. Ooh, I might actually take this over the Spell, spell Boon Saber. Because um, you get that Leech, it's never a bad thing. And then there's Raid Finder Headpiece, which would be a decent upgrade, but not a big one. I'm going to grab the neck because it's a, a 70 or 68 item level upgrade versus a 20 item level upgrade on the weapon. I think that's fine. Um, but I'm also just going to go grab a weapon with Bullion this week, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's see what that does for this character. What's the key? I got Ruby Life. So we jumped four item levels by equipping this neck from 421. Still need a trinket out of my save my damn life but I also only started picking up this character again basically over the weekend so I'm gonna call that a big old win getting a, a haste mastery leech with socket um, is a pretty good start to this character's uh, vault life so I'll go deal with that I'll put some gems in it later figure it all out but getting some leech to top with uh, some avoidance and some speed that I've gotten some on, on other items uh, pretty good start for the warlock and I'll get him invited into the guild later. Uh, the Evoker, I played around mostly with Dev, but I've been playing a little bit of Preservation, trying to learn the healer. Um, there's definitely some potential with it. I still have, obviously, some work to do to play it better. I, like, I don't think I'm using Echo as well as I should. I'm not using Spirit Bloom as well as I should. I'm definitely not using Empowered Heals as well as I should. And there's probably a couple of spells that I'm uh, overusing or underusing that I shouldn't. Uh, but... For now, for the most part, I focus on Dev Evoker because I've struggled to find casters that I really enjoy. Demonology, Affliction, and Dev Evoker kind of there. And Evoker is just like an interesting spec. Um, and like I said, I think ultimately I want it to be like my second healing tune. Um, if it's the class that I choose, say, over Hunter. 
uh, come War Within. So we are in Devastation spec here. Uh, basically anything like neck piece would be the, would be the kindest upgrade. But it's going to be really hard to pass this final grade up even though I've got the Kindler's Great Staff. I mean they're the same stats, so it's probably fine. Uh, Umber Skulls, Fractured Heart. That's going to be a pretty good one. That's from uh, Azure Vault. Could definitely replace the uh, Alchemy Stone. Talons of the Awakened are going to be a nice little upgrade, but I could... Jesus, it's actually kind of tough. I think I just take the, the Trinket, because like I said, final grade. I've got a 502 weapon already. Um, yes, it can go up to Hero Track. You know, screw it. Why am I thinking too hard about this? We're going to Sim C it. Come here, Sim C. Sure, I got my choices all here. Cool. And then we'll just find top gear. Set that aside while that goes. Uh, inviting someone into the guild. I'll come back to that. Actually, nope, it's already processing. Let's see what uh, what the sim says. Let's pull it back over here real quick. It says take the trinket. Kind of thought so. Um, yeah, and almost an 8,000 DPS increase versus final grade being a 5,000 DPS increase. Still a good move, but with the 502 staff, yeah. Definitely there. Still a lot of work to do on this character still, obviously keep that up because I will need it but yeah that trinket is just gonna be I think the best and it's a uh, passive trinket to go along with uh, the Balefire branch that I have already so slap that on picked up another two item levels so this character's coming along uh, quite nicely as well Grab the druid. The druid is definitely done. He did full slot LFR, um, and I think he did four. He has two slot mythic vault, so should be some good pieces there. Getting ping like crazy in Discord, but like I said, I knew it was going to happen. My apologies for that. All right, so uh, I primarily play Guardian on this loot spec. I did balance loot spec over the weekend to help out uh, my friend Zar, who is uh, coming to my raid team as a new mage trial. So I'm going to go from there. So let's see what we get for Guardian Druid. All right, some decent pieces here. I think I'm going to look at either this belt, which will be 31 item, 32 item levels. Uh, but probably grab these wrists, even though they're haste mastery, but I mean, that's 46 item levels. Uh, the staff, not going to be as big of an upgrade as I think it would be, because again, I have one that's already on veteran track. I just got to go through and upgrade it. Um, and I don't think any of this, this, this chest piece is obviously good, but for tier purposes, you know, we can continue to catalyze pieces and get tier. And I've got a few pieces already that I'm keeping an eye on. And again, it's an alt, so I'll keep that. I'm going to go ahead and grab these these bracers because they're just going to be, I think, the biggest item level upgrade. I mean, just the stamina difference alone. I mean, we're talking 1,200 stamina. Like, this character sits right now in bear form at 1.45 million health. Let's put these bracers on, and I jump over 1.5 million. So, like, uh, good stuff there. I'll put some avoidance on it here in just a little bit along with some avoidance on this. I gotta update the enchants on this character across the board anyways. Um, so, pretty happy with that. 482 on this character. Again, not too bad considering, uh, you know, the monk has been the priority this first week. Speaking of, let's go to the big Shimong himself, my monk, uh, so that we can... Uh, get this done let me see what we can do to get him pulled in now I'm gonna go into 
I'm gonna do it as Windwalker loots back because uh, because that's what I'm gonna be playing mostly in raid. Uh, I healed a few keys last night, so let me fix that actually. Let me go back into my Windwalker spec. Uh, because I play Windwalker and Raid mostly, I've been doing a combination of things in keys, uh, tanking, healing, and DPS. So, from that standpoint, we're going to be just fine. Um, but I want to go into Windwalker loot spec. Let's do current specialization, make my life easy. So we're going to go Windwalker loot spec. Uh, don't want any weapons, because I've got a couple 499s, but I'm also going to go get Reshock Stap already. Uh, I'm going to eventually upgrade this ring and I have another good one that has haze versatility and avoid actually I gotta change that uh, it is this ring first mastery avoidance so save that real quick while I'm thinking about it um, so biggest pieces that I would love to upgrade would be anything off of my 49 love to get a helm or gloves uh, whether it's tier built already or not because then I can go grab four piece Okay. This is a bunch of bullshit, but okay. Uh, let's see. The polar arm I'm gonna skip because, like I said, I'm gonna go get Ray Shock Staff. Same with Fist of the Grand Summoner. Um, next expansion, this might be a really good weapon, but not this one. Um, so I can either save my. my yeah, I'm gonna probably just grab this. It's all five twelve. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the the tier gloves to give me four piece. So that'll be a nice little boost there. Um, I probably could also take these legs, but I need four piece because I already have legs. But I need a second set of legs for Miss Weaver down the line eventually. So that is something that I will be maintaining an eye towards. But we're up to 498 now. Again, not bad considering I've been a little unlucky with loot drops. What did I get for a key? Legacy of Tear. Oh, that's going to be interesting on this character. So, um. Oh. Flip those around. Um. Whatever, I'll fix the enchants and stuff later. Uh, and add the uh, avoidance to my wrists. Um, so yeah, pretty good set of vaults, I think. I'm pretty happy overall with that. Um, like I said, the the DK was the most disappointing one, but I wasn't expecting much on him anyways. But a good upgrade on the Warlock, good upgrade on the Evoker, good upgrade, very good upgrade on the Druid, and a very nice upgrade to give me four piece on my Monk. I can't complain about week one of vaults here, guys. Uh, don't think there's much that I should be able to complain about on that front, so... Uh, so I get this thrown up. I'm going to be streaming tonight. Uh, we're doing Avarus Raid. We're going to jump into normal, clear it, and then start working on Heroic for my raid team. Um, and then I'll be streaming again on Wednesday. We'll be streaming some keys, and then Thursday we'll be back into raid. Um, I may add another day to this schedule early on for Fridays. Uh, the weekends, obviously, I'm not going to be able to be consistent on because of spending time with my boy. Uh, so we'll see. But... Hey, we're taking a successful week one vault. Until the next video, I hope you all stay safe. Hope you enjoy yourself. You're having fun. You keep on gaming. See you in the next video.